Hey y'all, so it's the next day. Right now I'm on my way to my little sister because she needs me to help her um, like redo her half up, half down or something like that. I don't know if she needs me to fix the ponytail or help her glue the back. I don't know which one she needs. But um, I'm on my way to her to do that because she has like an interview. Y'all, she's trying to work at some club, y'all. She just... Jessica is just too grown for me. She's too much. Like, I just remember when she was a little girl. Like, she's a woman, kind of ish now. And it's so weird. Like, who she thinks she is? She finna work at a lounge? Child. Anyways, her interview is at 8 o'clock tonight. So that's why I'm on my way to her. Then after I leave her, I'm gonna go get food because a bitch is starving. I want some. I want some nachos or some tacos. I'm not sure yet. I'm not sure where to get it. Get them. I want to go to this place called Torchies because I haven't been there in like hella long. But I'm not too sure yet if that's where I'm gonna go. What the fuck is this road? Am I fucking up? I feel like I'm fucking. Up. No, I'm not. Anyways, um, I want to go do that and then y'all, I'm gonna show you guys my skin. I don't want to do it right now because I'm driving. If you can't see it already, my skin is going fucking crazy. Like it's going crazy. So it's some products I need to go get. Well, really, just one product. I need a new cleanser. That's what I need. Like, well, I need more than just a new cleanser. But I was just trying to think, like, back when my skin was at its peak. Like, I'm going through a lot of changes right now. So I know that's having one effect on my skin. I don't know if it's, and, and I don't know if it's something that I've been eating. Like, y'all, I've been on this pickle thing lately. I don't know. I hope that's not it because pickles are just too damn good to me right now. But I'm on this pickle thing. I hope that's not it. Or I did recently have to start taking vitamins because, y'all, I have been so low in energy, like, lately. And I'm like, well, maybe it's because, you know, I am getting older. I mean, I'm 24, I ain't old. But you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not a little girl no more. So, I'm like, you know, maybe I need to start taking supplements. So, I did start taking some vitamins. And I don't know if it's those that are breaking me out. I'm not sure what it is. I've honestly, well, I'm in a red light. So look, y'all. You see this? It's actually clearing up a little bit, but you see how bad that is? It's all down here on my neck. I'm getting dark spots from it. My skin is just really dull. Like it's some on this side. It's not as bad as this side, but on this side, I'm breaking out. Like all, you see that all on my under here and shit skin is just dull like it's just horrible and i'm just trying to think like what was i using when my skin was at its peak and it was this cleanser that i used to use at origins from origins when i used to work for them when i used to work for origins it's this cleanser i don't remember the name of it but i know it when i see it and it used to get my skin super super clean lately i've been using this vitamin c cleanser from soap and glory that shit is good but it ain't that good like it's some drugstore shit and no shade to drugstore drugstore skincare but when you start messing with upper you know skincare you see the difference and it's too hard y'all i'm driving I'm sorry and when you start messing with like you know better skincare you know it's not the same so um yeah, I have to up my skincare. And the reason why, I'm trying to think like why did I stop using these certain products? But the reason why is because I'm not working at the mall right now. You guys know I freelance for Mac, but Mac is not open. Like even though the malls and shit is open, Mac is still closed. So I'm never at the mall anymore. Like I don't go to the mall at all. So it's like I'm not around my products, you know. Y'all know I'm sample queen. You know I don't ever be buying shit. I get the all the time. But I ain't been able to get my samples. So... With that being said, I haven't been using, I haven't been taking the best care of my skin. So, since I haven't been doing that, maybe that's what it is. Hopefully, it's not my vitamins. Hopefully, it's not my pickles because, bitch, I'm going to be highly upset. <laughs> but, um, yes, yeah, so I'm going to go. I don't know if Macy's is open. Hopefully, it is. And if it is, I got to go get that, like, ASAP because I know that that that's where it starts I've always said like when I used to you know help people with their skin I'm not in skin and in makeup like that anymore because I'm just not around it I haven't been working it so I don't it's like I can't really remember everything but I've always told people that the start of good skin is a clean face like when you got build up and dirt and oil that's the start of why sometimes things look the way they look it goes deeper into that but where it starts is a clean face so you need a good cleanser and i have not been using a good cleanser at all so i'm gonna go get that 
and um i need to get my brows done because girl they don't even have a shape anymore i really want a new brow shape like i really wish it was a way i could shave my brows off and just start over but if i shave my brows off that's not cute you know i mean i know that's a thing now but i got a big head i need distractions <laughs> so I don't know, but I know I need to get my brows done really, really bad because I'm just over the shape. I'm over putting makeup on them, on them. but I'm not going to do that today. I'm going to wait till I go to the nail shop because I know you see my nails, and I really got this ring on like my shit cute, but my nails, look at this hand. Mm, so <laughs> I'm going to just wait till I, I, it's my nail shop day to do that so when I go, I could just get it all done, but I probably should not wait because the lady who do brows don't be there all day, and I like to go to the nail shop early in the morning when they open because I don't like waiting in lines. <sighs> I don't know. Eventually, I'm going to get them done, though. I know I'm going to get them done before we go to New York. So that's pretty much what's on the agenda today. Help her out with her hair get food and get cleanser i'm cooking tonight too for dinner so i know that too i don't know why i'm i want some tomato sheets like tomato tomato basil type shit with some shrimp or something with some garlic bread <laughs> that's what i'm feeling tonight so i know that that's probably something i'm gonna cook just like some made up shit honestly and truly it's gonna be some made up shit nothing that's like something but yeah y'all let me um I'm, I'm i'm arriving to my sister's house so let me get in this gate oh i got somebody right here bet i'm gonna catch the gate period got somebody right here so let me get up in here and help her out and then i'll link back up with y'all later y'all look at the shirt that's the last thing it's late <laughs> get up yo look at my nephew yeah. i don't think the vlog back up I don't think y'all ever met Jackson, but this is my nephew. Y'all, I think y'all have. I don't know, but he's so big. Look at my baby. He's good too. He can do whatever he wants. Yeah, that was cute. She's showing me her shirt, y'all. It was two for you know. It was buy one, get the other one fifty percent off, and some people. And then like. Then my best friend had a t-shirt for so then we got a third one for free and that's on period. Oh I love Jackson. Death Row Records. Cool. <laughs> okay you guys, so I'm done with Jessica. When I tell y'all I was at her house for two hours and all we did was talk about Beyonce. Like we were we watched uh beachella and i haven't seen it in a minute and we literally talked about beyonce the entire time i was there like i'm not over exaggerating like she is the only person that really oh fuck she's hold on she's the only person that really just gets it like she gets it like me and her are the only people in each other's lives that just gets it like why we feel this way we feel about Beyonce she's the only person that gets it so yeah but I just pulled up to JC Penny because I thought I didn't have a Sephora inside JC Penny because I thought they would be open but I just see somebody walk up to the door and try to go in and they're not open but while online it says that they close at seven and seven is the earlier time that they will close like this I know this JC Penny they close usually at like nine but if you look online it says it closes at seven so I don't fucking know what I'm about to do Macy's they put an H-E-B here oh that's lit that's real cute so I don't really know what the hell I'm gonna do because I know I know that Macy's closes at seven but I don't know if I'm gonna make it to Macy's in time if I can make it to Macy's in time then I'm lit but if I can't in their clothes then I don't know I mean the mall isn't far from me so I probably could make it but I don't know I just really want my cleanser, bro. Like, my skin is in shambles. Like, shambles. So, yeah. I'm just giving you guys an update. Then after that, I'm going to eat because I'm really hungry. I stayed at her house way longer than I was supposed to. But once she start, I just love Beyonce so much. Like, if you ever, like, are feeling lazy, if you ever just feeling down, just watch Beyonce. Like, her mind, her dog i ain't finna get into it because if i get into it i'm start talking to y'all and y'all gonna be annoyed because y'all if you don't understand if you don't understand you're not gonna understand like it's different to love beyonce like a couple of her songs no couple of songs but to really just know like you gotta know and if you don't know 
You ain't gonna understand. <laughs> <laughs> but I just made an unnecessary U-turn, which means I'm talking and not focusing. So let me drive, and then I'm gonna go to the mall if I can make it, and then I'm gonna we're gonna see. We're gonna see. Bitch, got my shit, y'all. Barely made it, barely fucking. Made. I got here like 6:50, and I know what it's like because I used to work Macy's, I used to work Dillard's. I know what it's like when a bitch come in last minute while y'all trying to close down the register and she wants something but it's okay because at least i wasn't coming in asking questions wanting to do this and that i knew exactly what i wanted and this is what it is y'all it's the origins checks and balances facial wash the frothy facial wash this shit is so good it gets your skin so clean like like you know when you're you know when you get that squeaky clean feeling like you know when it's no like oil and dirt that is what this is and oranges use like they use good um ingredients too so it's good for your skin and all of that i love this stuff it was 24 dollars, but i promise you it's worth it and a little bit goes a long way so if you're looking for a cleanser or you want to try to sample something and you feel like your cleanser is not getting you clean enough really try the origins one i promise you it's gentle you will love it i promise so now that i got that out the way thank god i made it it's time for me to find some food because I'm starving and I gotta pee. So I need to make moves fast because when I gotta pee, I have to go. Like, I'm talking about it gets so bad, I'll be having to pull over because I have to pee that bad. So that probably was a little TMI, but hey, we're friends. It's whatever. <laughs> All right, you guys. So I made it to where I was gonna eat it. I'm at this place called Torchy's Taco. I haven't been here in hella long. Like, I used to come here for lunch when I worked at Kroger and that was in like 2015 so it's been a minute but I don't know I just thought about it today like I really want some tacos and they have the best fucking queso dip that you could ever taste the best queso dip ever so yes girl I'm finna get my life so what I get is the trailer park trashy which is a fried chicken taco with shit on it all the taco shit and then I get a beef fajita taco and they're both bomb as fuck. So, <clears throat> yeah. But girl, let's talk about B Simone real quick. <laughs> so, people is like tearing this bitch up on the internet. And it's not really, in my opinion, it's not really what she said, it's how she said it. I personally don't feel like there's anything wrong for a boss wanting to be a boss. And I don't understand why people bringing up that she slept in her car three years ago. Bitch, that was three years ago. That's not what the fuck she doing today. So why are you even bringing that up? It's not what she said. It's how she said it. And I feel like people are getting confused when she said she wants someone who can understand the lifestyle. It's not about the flashy shit, the money. It's about it's about the mindset of owning a business and having your own shit. And if you've ever, if you're a creative, or if you're somebody who does your own thing, you want to be able to talk to your mate about those things and y'all to relate. So just think if she dated a, a UPS ass nigga, he's not going to understand. If he don't have any goals to do his own thing, he's not going to get what she's talking about. Like It's hard for me to explain because I'm trying to say it correctly, but I know when you're talking how people articulated is not gonna always be what you need. So fucking good. But anyways, a boss wants to be with a boss and there's nothing wrong with that. Only thing that I can disagree on is just like say the dude come in her life, you know, he's everything she wants her to be. she's everything she would want him to be for the most part. But he doesn't have his own business. He may desire to have his own business, but he doesn't. Um, she turns him away, or turns away from him. She can miss out on her blessing because a good woman can change a man's life. Like with her mindset, she could be like, "Well, baby, you working for them? Why don't you go get your own thing? Like if you're a mechanic or something, you working for them? Why don't you open up your own shop? You don't you complain and do this and that." You can open up your own business and everything she knows about running a business, everything like that, she could teach him. And she can help him grow. But a lot of women 
aren't really in the business of wanting to help a man grow. Which is understandable. I feel like it's not a right or wrong way of dating. It's whatever the fuck you want and whatever works for you, but she can miss her blessing, in my opinion, with being so strict on what she said. That's all I, that's how I feel. But I'm not understanding why well, people not understanding why she said she want an entrepreneur. Like, if you're a millionaire, would you want to be with a homeless person? Like, you're a millionaire. As a woman, would you want to be with a homeless man? And I think another thing people need to take into consideration, people just be so quick to deal. Be, be Simone is in her fucking 30s. And you know when, if she desires to be married or to be in a long-lasting relationship, I'm not saying her clock, is, her clock is ticking because there's no clock on love, but she's in her 30s. So when it comes to that young building a man up, like, your nigga, like when they both, your nigga working at UPS and shit, and you got your own business, a very successful, well known business, it's gonna be hard for y'all to connect. I don't think people understand that. Like the conversation that you would have about your day, and the conversation he would have about his day, that this it's gonna be a huge disconnect there. I don't think people understand that. I don't know. That's just my opinion on the shit. I just feel like she a boss. They want to date a boss. Or someone who has the boss mentality. If you don't have a boss mentality or entrepreneurship mentality, you're not gonna when she meant like three in the morning, you're not gonna understand her lifestyle. You're not gonna understand the sacrifice she's gonna make for her business because you work for somebody else and that's all you can see yourself doing. And there's nothing and I don't think she meant that there's anything wrong with a nine to five because it's definitely nothing wrong with a nine to five absolutely not even if you're like a doctor it's nothing wrong with a nine to five but doing your own thing is a different mind that's all i can say and if you don't have that mind you don't think she was coming for you like it's something wrong with what you do when that wasn't the case This like torchy lemonade is fire. This queso is fire. <clears throat> I'm getting full. I only finished half of one taco and took one bite of another taco. This was a lot of food. But I'm kind of pissed that I spent $20 on tacos, but it's worth it. Because I mean, the taco truck in the hood, I can get like four tacos. So. Six dollars, and I got two tacos for twenty. <laughs> but I got the queso too, and they don't sell queso in the ghetto. <laughs> but yeah, you guys, I'm just trying to finish as much food as I can. It's the HEB in this park a lot, thank God. I think that's new too. They're just building a whole bunch of new HEBs, and I ain't know nothing about. There's an HEB in this park a lot. I'm gonna go there because if I do get hungry later on which I might, I'm not sure. I wanna cook, so I wanna make sure I have everything in the house to cook. And then I'm out of fruit, and I am so addicted to mangoes. Like, y'all, I spent $12 on mangoes the other day, cause I bought two of the pre-cut ones. I spent $12 on mangoes, and I ate both cups in one day. That's a problem. So, yeah. <laughs> I'm addicted to mangoes. So yeah, I'm full though. I cannot wait to get home. I gotta drive to get home too. Alright y'all, so it's like hella a lot later. So I'm finna do a little project or whatever, right? So um I moved this is my old room. I moved my bed out of here so I can use this space to film. 
and I took over my little sister's room. She doesn't stay here anymore, so I took her room for the time being. So until I move, which is about to be soon, um, I'm going to use this space to film my videos. So I'm so sick of that white fucking background. I'm ready for y'all to have something new to look at. I want to look at something else. So I'm about to do like a little project. But I don't know where I put my damn nails. Anyway, so I got these shelves. I got these little white shelves from Target. And I got little things to go on them because I'm trying to create like a little background situation, right? So I don't know if you guys can see, but I did little marks on like where I would place them. I got six of these and I got little things. So we're about to do that. But I can't find my goddamn nails. I found my nails, y'all. Okay, so I'm going to use... I guess I can use the medium length ones. And y'all look, I don't have a hammer, so I'm going to use a shoe. It's crooked, but you know what? Crooked adds character. So I'm going to keep going. Okay, y'all, so where I'm making the mistake is, so we, I made the marks for the nails that go right here at the top, but I need to make the mark for the L part so it can be even. I'm probably going to redo that one. So I got my little pen and key. Ow! Y'all, I'm going through it tonight. Look, so you know how, like, you do this to, like, you know, make the pen part come out? I did this and the pin part was out, bro. That shit hurt. Like I can't get it right now. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
And I mean, if you're interested, I got these shells from Target. They were a dollar, I think. No, they were five dollars. Came for two in the little dollar section. They were five dollars. So I got like a little A, A, right? What else I got? Um, yeah, I bought this. Um, I bought this this fake plant, but I think it's too big. Y'all can't even see it up there. I mean, you really don't have to see it, kind of. It just depends on, it just depends on, like, where I position my shit that day. But I got that fake plant. But it's kind of too big. Like, if, you, if I put it down here, well, that doesn't look that bad. I don't know. I'm going to leave it there for right, for right now. I got a candle that's, like, going to be, oh, shit. Oh, shit. That ain't stable. That ain't stable enough for me to get for my candle. Maybe this one. Is. Yeah, that one is more stable. Got a candle. Some more light gotta go right here. I got um where that thing going? Y'all, this pissed me off. So I got this pink Himalayan salt lamp, right? And it's like in the shape of a heart. And y'all, this really needs to be battery operated, like on or off or something charging, but you have to plug it up and look at the plug. What the fuck? So you gotta plug it up. But I may just cut the cord and just use the lamp, unfortunately. Like, and even when you plug it up, look, I'm gonna plug it up to my computer watch. Even when you plug it up, it ain't even that pink. Like, it ain't even that cute. But that's what I get for going to Burlington. <laughs> look, I'm oh, not that's cute. That would've been real cute. That would have been real cute little behind me. But it's just like, say even if I was to put my computer on the floor like while I'm filming. That cord is tacky. So it's like, what? The, why would they put a cord? Like, why would they do that? You know what I'm saying? So, unfortunately, I'm still going to use this. because Oh, shit. <laughs> I'm still going to use this because I bought it. But I may just cut the cord off and then just um, use the lamp for its decorative, for a decoration, I guess. And then, like, you know, I have the candle burner, so that could be something, a little vibe. And then I have, I got a picture frame. It's like a little pink. Let me go get it. Hold on. I got this little pink picture frame. It ain't nothing in it yet, but I'm going to put something in it. And I thought that would be cute. And then for this top one, y'all, I got this little llama. It's like silver, but it's broke. I'm going to fix it though. The head fell off. But y'all, it's so freaking cute. It's like a little silver llama. And llamas are like, well, no, not llamas. My favorite movie, one of my favorite movies is Emperor's New Groove. And you know, that's a llama. So I was like, I have to get it because that represents me. So I probably put that up here, but... I don't have it right now because I need to fix it. It's in the other room. And then I got, let me see. Ow, ow, ow. I got my little Mac thingy. I don't know if that's throwing off the colors. Maybe not. And then I got this all, I need to clean it though. This all perfume. This is Tender Romance by Ralph Lauren. Smells really good, but I don't wear it anymore. So I thought I may like sit that up there. And then in the middle, I'm not sure if I want to do like maybe something framed, like to go up in this space to be like directly behind me just to fill in this space. Or if I want um like some wall like sticker. I feel like some wall sticker eyelashes that I thought would be cute. But I'm not sure yet what I'm gonna do with this. I'm not even sure I'm gonna leave this like this. I mean, I kind of like it now that it's like coming together and when I'm like with my real light, I feel like it'll pop a little better. But I don't know. I mean, it's it's different and it's better than that white. It's just I got to play with it a little more. I may like stagger them, like maybe bring some in to like I don't know. I'm gonna figure something out though. It's it's okay. But it ain't like it. You know what I'm saying? It ain't it. But we just gonna play with it some more. But I'm done with this. I'm over this. My head hurt. I am fucking hungry. So let's go cook dinner because I'm hungry. Like very hungry. So let's go do that, y'all. Alright, y'all. So I got <clears throat> alright, y'all. So I got some chicken and some shrimp that I just cooked. 
it's not that fucking funny but um and then i'm gonna put this tomato garlic basil sauce over this yeah like i really don't know what the fuck i really would, i don't know like i just was craving this i don't know what this is but i was craving like tomato sauce basil garlic like basil is like my favorite herb i fucking love this <laughs> i love basil so much i love the way it smells I love the way it tastes so yeah i just seasoned up some shrimp and some chicken and i'm gonna just let this cook and just let it simmer and do its thing i got some rice over here and i'm just putting it over rice i got me some garlic bread and then while fucking lot <laughs> we're gonna have dinner okay period so i'm gonna put a little bit more i like my shit real saucy <clears throat> Then I'm gonna season that up a little bit just to make sure it's hella flavor. And then, yeah, bon appetit. Um, here's my food. Um, I don't know, it don't look that great, but it tastes good and it smells so good because I love basil and I love garlic. Like, oh my god. Oh, and I put um Cajun, no, I put you know, Cajun seasoning that Tony Tony seasoning and Italian seasoning on the chicken. Bon appetit, I swear to god. But yeah. I'm finna eat and um, watch Insecure again. So I'm gonna talk to y'all niggas, I guess, when I'm done eating. Alright, you guys, that's pretty much the end of this vlog. I just finished filming a video. Y'all, I did my makeup a different way and I like it, but it doesn't look good because my skin is just so. It's just not there. And it's starting to get to me because. But I'm gonna try not to let it, you know take a bitch under but my skin is just not there like it just doesn't look smooth and it don't look smooth because my skin is in shambles but yeah i think i, I don't know if i told you guys but i did order some skincare um i ordered two new products it's from a black owned business i spent like 50 dollars on it so i know that's a lot of money but i feel like it'll be worth it i've been eyeing her business for a while now so I decided to give it a try. So hopefully it'll be on the way. And you know when it comes. I will definitely give you guys updates. You know in vlogs and stuff about my skin. But uh. <laughs> but yeah that pretty much wraps this up. I'm about to go get food. Or whatever. So yeah I will see you guys in my next video. My next vlog. I love you guys so much. If you have not subscribed yet. Please, please subscribe. And don't forget to like it. Don't forget to comment. Don't forget to subscribe and say it again. And yeah, I love you guys so much. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.